Right then, so I've just got back from watching Blade Runner 2049, so here are my thoughts in a non-spoiler review for you all. First and foremost, should you go and see it? That is the crux of any review at the end of the day. Should you pay money to watch this in the cinema? So let's get it out of the way first. Yes, you really should. But with the caveat that I think you will only get the full enjoyment from this film if you enjoyed the first. If you didn't, then I don't think this is a film for you as it is very much in keeping with the first in its stylistic choices, cinematography, pacing, and general feel. But it does expand on it in a way that is natural and not jarring. So why is this movie so good? To me, the movie is made actually by two things, its soundtrack and its pace. The story is not make or break for me at all, or at least the main story anyway. This movie is long, clocking in at 2 hours 43 minutes, which you do feel in parts, but it's the slow pacing to this movie that allows the audience to genuinely feel for certain characters, and in turn, emotional moments genuinely have weight to them. It's nothing new, but Ryan Gosling is an acquired taste when it comes to actors and how he handles roles. The slow pace of this movie allows you to set into that character, feel for his character, and actually appreciate his acting. If it wasn't for this slow pace, I don't think it would have anywhere near enough weight at all, and you would probably pass Gosling off as a boring nobody. Like I said though, the main plot, as good as it is, and it's a decent main plot, really is secondary to everything else that is happening around it. Obviously not spoiling anything, it is those interactions, those thought-provoking scenes, and powerfully written dialogue that actually carries this story into something special. Accompanied with that, it is the score. This score is something incredible. The visuals are stunning, make no mistake, but as stunning and as vivid as the visuals are, the score is that and tenfold. Without the score being so brilliantly put together, I feel this could have been a completely different film. The acting as well, solid all round. Everyone does a superb job in their roles. There are some characters that could have been cast differently due to their screen time, but all in all, great. Gosling is standout, but the real showstopper awards go to Anna Diarmas, who plays a genuinely complex character, which leads to one of the most thought-provoking scenes I've seen on screen for a while. And the other goes to Sylvia Hoax. Good lord, this woman can act. Deep and layered, a really pleasant surprise. So, what else is there to say? Is it a worthy sequel? Did it need to be made? Of course, no sequel needs to be made. But is it a worthy sequel? Yes, I would say so. But that being said, if you are indifferent to the first movie, don't go into this one expecting to enjoy it. If you don't like to be left with thoughts on humanity, relationships, and what it means to truly be human, then it's probably best to avoid this film. It isn't, by any means, just a thinking person's film though. If you appreciate stunning visuals, atmosphere, tension, and a superb soundtrack, then this would also be something you enjoy. Is it the best sci-fi movie that's been released in a long time? Watching it, you become so immersed that to answer that, I have to take a step back and remember that it was actually a sci-fi flick, which means it did a great job. So yes, I would say definitely. The film does such a great job at engaging you in the story and the world, you do forget it's a far-flung sci-fi movie. It's a film I would say is best served on a great quality theatre screen and audio system. I watched it on IMAX and it genuinely enhanced it. The sound especially, I can't stress that enough. I think a lot of that will be lost if you were to wait and watch it at home. I don't give movies a rating, but this is a fantastic film. Again, in my eyes, it actually isn't the main story that made it so great. It's the other pieces to the puzzle. So if you've seen it, what did you guys think? Do you agree with anything I said or do you completely disagree? I'd love to hear your thoughts on it, but keep it spoiler free down below in the comment section. And if you did enjoy this video, then please consider leaving it a like and subscribing to the channel for more reviews in the future. I've been Mr. H and until next time, I'll catch you in the comment section.